Hey, what is up ladies and gentlemen? We are back. Um, this is the fourth video in this little or fifth video in this little volume tutorial series. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a direct linking campaign. So in the previous video, we just got done adding an offer, which was the Max Bounty United States uh, Paneline. Um, which is this offer right now $51 payout us only weight loss niche and to create a direct linking campaign I've mentioned this before but all you need is an offer a traffic source and an affiliate network and we just we already got those three covered so we can go in and create our very first campaign which is direct linking and for this we can do simple form when we um, do landing pages and stuff we can use the advanced form so We'll dive on in right away. Choose Microsoft Advertising, country. We're gonna go United States. And then we'll just name it um, Paneline, and then DL for direct link. Cost model not tracked. You can add a cost model and um, go like, let's say every click that you get costs uh, 50 cents on average. Then every time a visitor clicks on your ad in your Bing ads campaign, then it'll automatically cost 50 cents. But I don't like doing this because I'll have different ad groups with different bid ranges. So I'm gonna take that out, um, not tracked, but you can do whatever you want. Again, we got notes right there. Campaign destination, we'll do path and then um, the path destination will do not landers and offers we will cover that in a different video but we'll go direct linking and then the redirect mode will go 302 and now we can come and choose that offer that we just did which is paneline and then we can save so right here this is your tracking link that you insert into into your Bing Ads campaign and then we can come over here um, this is the post back URL we set that up so this long thing right here is your tracking link. It should look just like this. Um, the parameters might be different uh, depending if you did what I did, uh, my custom little layout for my parameters or if you left it at the default. But either way it should look something like this. So now that we have this we can come in and I'm just going to do an example campaign and show you where to paste your tracking link. So we're going to go paneline. Direct link test, leave everything the same, choose United States. Oh, it's not gonna pop up. Okay. Um, people in your location, English, save and go to next step, and we'll just go test, test. Um, in my previous videos, I already covered all of this, how you can get keywords and stuff, go check that out. Um, create the ad, and we'll just go test. Test, test, and then if you come in, uh, or actually, if you come and grab this link right here, and then you paste it into your browser, and then this is the final URL that we would put right in here. Um, Add URL options right here is the tracking template so one thing that I wanted to mention was you got to take that site link thing out so we'll paste all that in and then we'll just erase site link because we'll only use that full link for our site link tracking so that's that that's looking good um, you can always test it if you want to see if they'll find something landing page found Everything's looking good. And we'll save. And then those are your site link extensions right there. Um, price extensions, um, call out extensions, structured snippets, all that stuff. Um, I've covered that before. This is just an example. Um, manual bid. 
let's go 30 obviously this isn't a real campaign but you can come in and choose your devices your ad schedule location all that good stuff audience ad ad distribution do you want it on owned and operated or syndicated partners or both I always leave it on both for the testing phase and then you can just save it and that's how you can track your Bing Ads campaigns with a volume um, this is the direct linking version of it in the next video I'm going to show you how to add a lander to your volume account which will be right here and then when you create your landing page um, it'll be a slightly different setup but it's still relatively easy so that is it for this video and in the next video I'm going to show you how to add a landing page to your volume account and that's that and I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Peace.